In this video, I'll show you how to create animated files for your projects using LVGL and Squareline Studio. Squareline Studio allows us to create custom board packages, OBPs. The template files include all the necessary libraries to drive the display. You can find my OBPs on GitHub and copy them to the correct location. All the instructions are available on GitHub. For animated images, you can use your favorite websites. For this project, I used Pinterest to find an animated Christmas tree. All credits go to the respected creators. Once you find the GIF for your project, download it. I use easegif.com to resize and split the GIF file. Select the resize option, then upload the GIF. Set the height or width to resize. For the card pewter, I set the height to 135 pixels and left the width blank to auto resize, ensuring the correct proportion. Then select the split option and set the split format to PNG. Squareline Studio only allows .png image frames for the animation. Download the zip file and rename the files. The image names should start with the same file name but end with a number indicating the index of the image in the sequence. Squareline Studio automatically recognizes these image sequences. In Squareline Studio, create a new project. Make sure to download and install the OBPs from my GitHub. I have created several OBPs for different manufacturers. For this, I chose the M5 Stack Card Pewter. Then select the project location and choose a name. The screen resolution and other settings are predefined in the OBP. I set the background color to black, then copied the image sequence folder to the assets folder of the project folder. Then place the image on the screen. This serves as a placeholder for the image sequence animation. Rename the widget for better organization. Then go to the animation tab. Give your animation a name, select the test object image widget and choose the image frames. After that, click add property. Set the start value to zero and for the end value, set it to the last frame, in this case, 47. Adjust the other properties as needed. Then select the image set. Finally, press play to preview the animation. Once everything is set, go to the export menu and create a template project. Copy and paste the created template project. Keep the original template project untouched, otherwise future exports may show errors. Rename the folders and files as follows. Change the libraries folder to lib. Change the UI folder to src. UI.ino file to main.cpp. Open the project folder in VS Code. Platform.io will initialize automatically. The platformio.ini file contains all the necessary libraries such as M5 Card Pewter and LVGL. The main.cpp file serves as the entry point for the project containing the core logic and setup required for the application. The lib uiessers folder contains all the UI-related code generated by Squareline Studio. To start the animations, copy the animation code to the setup function in main.cpp. Then update the target object and delay. For this project, the target object is UI image tree. Make sure to update it accordingly. Then build the code. Ensure the animation files do not exceed the device's flash size. If you enjoyed this video, consider supporting it. I added MP3 playback from an SD card to make the project more interesting. The code is self-explanatory and you can find the link in the description.
you can download and flash the firmware using M5 Burner. To do this, open M5 Burner and search for 2M8. All of my works are available there. Download and burn the firmware. Alternatively, you can use M5 Launcher to download it directly onto your device.